So it was nice this morning, so we just blew that completely off and waited till it was hot and sunny. And uh, we're gonna change the door hinge here, and this is our contraption. This is a stand we use to varnish doors and what have you on. So we just screwed some boards on it. We got the door sandwiched. Uh, I don't think it'll fall. And uh, it's kind of crude and rude. I don't think it's gonna be a hard job if once we get the hinge loose and the screws are coming right out and we're gonna start taking screws out. Really, the only thing you have to do is get this skirt out of the way. We're trying not to mess with these wires. They're just little, uh, I guess these are wood screws. Well, I don't know what they are. They screw into the door jam. No easy, no big deal. Um, the ones on the face of the door are gonna be a little more difficult. But we're gonna pull the door away and this way a little bit, we hope, and get a screw gun on them. And we have a used hinge. Came out of a wide body. It seems to be pretty good. I put the calipers on it, uh, on it yesterday. Right. No wiggly. This one here is worn out. Should I leave some of these in this side and get this side out as far as I can? Whatever it seems like it's gonna work. Yeah, I don't know either. We'll know after you get through. Let's do it. Let's just take them out. Don't be scared. They do have a somebody has put a piece of foam here. I don't know if there's a screw under it or not. I bet there's sealant under that hinge too. I think there is. It sure looks like it. Yep, it's not going to just fall off. Well, unless there was one in the very bottom that I missed. I got it. Maybe just a little bit of glue under there. Watch out. Wait, more screws. I get those out, it might work better. Oops. One more anyway. on the outside without bunging up the paint. Let me get up. It's probably wedged in there behind this yeah, air, aerodynamic shield too. And here's Jim Brookshire. He's helping us. Paying my five hundred dollar fee. <laughs> uh, saving me from having to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Yep, it's coming. I think it's all the way to the bottom. It's loose now. I think we could or slide it out, out a little out bit. It came to this, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is that enough to get in? I think so. Got a goo here. probably sprung the heads. It probably didn't help a thing. I think he was fighting an air leak. Bottom screws already out. Oh yeah, this is working. What is this here? Broken off screw. got some goo on that screw. Yeah. That's what it feels like, you know, that dumb yeah. dumb. Or, you know, put it on there and put the screw in and it got all over the thread. Mm -hmm. That one wasn't going to fall out. I almost have it though. This way towards Carol. There you go. Lost one. We'll find it. We'll let Sean park here. <laughs> yeah. Those little screws wouldn't even hurt a tire. To... They're too short. Uh, 
I think that sealer that stayed there is going to be fine. Moving this. Oh, you're fine. The wind's blowing. I'm pushing. go match it up. What did I do with the other one yesterday? Oh, I got it. I'm going to go make sure it's exactly the same. Be right back. Yeah, we're going to have one. Fortunately, there's no longer the way to get far. Oh, boy, this is sloppy as a... I don't know what. Ow! Can't be too... Yeah. Screw holes are the same. Perfect. Uh, Carol, you want to hold this and poke it to me, or let me run around the other side and I'll drag it in. Don't let it paint. You can help it. get the bottom ones and then come back up because yep. they're the ones that are the hard to get to. Well that wasn't hard at all. Of course we're not done yet but I've never done this before and we didn't uh, do this one yesterday and then take it apart just for the video today we're not really like that that one got nothing 
that one may be sheared off. I don't think it was in there to start with. No, it looks like there's one. There's something in there. Damn. Huh? There's something in there. Is there? You can I see it? So. Yeah. I stuck the little poker in there. It seemed like. Oh, well, no, it seems like there's a hole there. Okay. Let me try. It could just be the gooey gooey. Well, I'm not going to fight it. Got all the difficult ones now. Let's get this. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna snug these up. I think they went in pretty good. That one did. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna try to pull the hinge. There we go. Pull the hinge a little bit and push in if you can. Whoa! Whoa. Go back out a little bit. But that was a little easy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think I get two. We can get one. We can. No, not quite. There, that right moved there. a little bit. Got one there. Got two. Move up the hill. Okay, I think the top needs to go into a little bit, so. probably. Oh yeah, right there. Okay. for sure that a 94 wide body <laughs> is the same as a 2000 LXI. Why would they change it? Well, yeah, exactly. There's no reason.
Well, I don't see any reason why we can't take the. It looks like to me it'll slide right out. And then we can uh, want to slide it. Yeah. No, I'm still missing a bunch of screws. Hold that open. I'll sure. Bring in there. Hello, I was just talking to Kemp on the phone, and he said, "Oh, that looks like a major job. It took longer to get the the gear, block the wood, and all the way." You're fine. We still have a blueprint, thanks to John Wyatt, for this uh, hinge, okay. so we can get them made. Bluebird actually has one left in stock, but I don't think anybody I know will buy it, since it's only $700. You know, the very... I bet we can buy this hinge from McMaster Car and drill our own holes in it. And of course, it, to follow these holes would be a good idea because it's just too easy. You're good. Jim. Help, you got to put a charged air cooler in his bus, rod his radiator, entertain him every day for a week or two, which ain't so bad after all. Could be worse. That's what I get for my maintenance entertainment fee. <laughs> yeah. Dropped one. Yeah, I only dropped one though. I saw it, I'd go get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I only dropped one. They disappear though, don't they? Oh, yeah. We'll find it. Well, he was missing a couple to start with. What am I thinking? We don't have any like it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I do. On the head. Well, let's look, let's shut it. Before, it was rubbing here and here. Wait a minute. It was rubbing here. I had to take this sandpaper off because it was sanding in the bottom of the door off. And it was rubbing here. I actually had to lower the striker pin. Now, Do you? Yeah. Oh yeah, here it is. The only one we dropped. Oh, that opens good too. The only problem we have is now the door panel. This uh, ultra leather here has turned gooey. 
It's, the rest of it's nice. This is horrible. So I guess we get to do it next. I had this little, okay, that other hinge had a notch where this went. This one does not. This is the, to depress those buttons. It's just a little plate and the door lock button and the um, burglar alarm right here. Hit the plate. They go, it goes right up here. I think it goes like this. Yeah. Drop it. I better put it back on. Same screws. that curtain back you can see it's dark in there that doesn't really fit that good there let's see what I can do nope alright I dropped it again let's see if we need it alright that's good I had to find a few more screws, but but it was missing a few. It probably worked out through the years. But I think that's good. Sounds good. Yeah, it doesn't. You don't have to slam it. I do need to adjust the striker pin to probably now in, you know. Well done. Don't hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Make comments. Don't be shy. Thanks for watching.